Hey guys, Epic Clips here, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a cover of everything that's basically coming out soon. So, one of these things is the new Hot Wheels DLC, and the other one is the end of Season 3 and the start of Season 4. So, um, as many of you know, Season 3 is finally ending, which is great, and Season 4 is starting. And we'll go over some of the rewards and some of the stuff like that, and the new ranking system and how I think it's going to work. And then I'm also going to go over the Hot Wheels DLC. And most of you probably know about that by now, but if not, there's going to be a video in the description of the new DLC, which the cars look pretty cool. And also in the description, there shall be a little uh, link for where you can go read up on the end of Season 3 and the start of Season 4. So let's start off with the new DLC, the Hot Wheels DLC. So, something funny is I think I actually might have had the first hot, one of the two Hot Wheels cards as a kid. Uh, the one that's called the... So the Bone Shaker is, kind of looks like the Backfire in a little bit. Because, I don't know, has that same kind of like old car feeling to it. Like it's an old hot rod. So I'm interested to see the hot... Not hot the hitbox on that and how the car is actually going to perform. I hope it's not going to be another shitty car. And the other car is going to be the Twin Mill 3. So this car we know something about and it's supposed to have the same hitbox as the Batmobile which is really good and frankly if you play in the Batmobile to have a car that has the same hitbox and be able to be customizable I think is a great thing because that's the one of the things I don't really like about the Batmobiles. I can't change the way it looks. But off the aesthetics, it looks almost like the Batmobile, just a little bit different. A thing that I don't like they did about it was they put the point to the end of it, and I know if it's not even in the hitbox, it doesn't matter. But mentally, I feel like it does mess with me sometimes. So, um, these cars will be selling for $1.99 each, which kind of sucks, because I remember one used to buy a DLC, and it used to be $1.99, and you get both cars. But, $1.99 each... Um, and it's going to come with, let's see, it says it right here. Uh, Hot Wheels, Antenna and Topper, Treasure Hunt Flag, and Shark Bite Topper is what we'll be adding. And each car, when you buy it, comes with their own set of wheels, like every car has. And six exclusive decals for each of them. So, that's pretty cool. And the other thing that's kind of surprising is in this article, they say that the uh, developer in Psyonix has kind of talked around with releasing the Batmobile and the DeLorean for free for everyone so they will have it which is pretty cool um, that's also that's pretty awesome I mean they're old now so most people do already own them but if you don't have it it's gonna be great because you get to have two free new cars the Batmobile is really fun to play with and the DeLorean is pretty fun as well um, remember when both of those came out but that's pretty much it on the new Hot Wheels DLC the video link will be in the description um both pretty cool cars i do like them a lot and excuse the gameplay in the background i am playing with controller so it's got all it's not even ranked but it's just you know some fun gameplay with controller but now on to season four and basically the end of season three which we're gonna get so as many of you know every end of the season besides the very very first one that I played in has season rewards to it and the first season you got a crown so there was silver a bronze silver gold and platinum and platinum was just the top 100 now that's important Th keep that in your mind and then season two same ranks as we have now and the rewards were boost which was pretty cool now this season is going to be wheels and I'll show you the wheels right now they're um, pretty cool uh, the champion ones I like a lot the and the rising star the gold ones are pretty nice the prospect maybe not as much they're pretty simple I don't know how I feel exactly about the design but I'm intrigued to see how they're going to look on the actual car but basically prospect one or higher you get the prospect wheels, challenger one or higher, you get the challenger, challenge rising star or higher, you get the blue, champion or higher, you get champion. And as per last season, grand champ, if you had it at any time, you will get the season three grand champ title, which is pretty cool. But the wheels are the wheels are nice. Um, also, just to let you know, you get all of them if you're champion. 
you don't just get the champion one. So if you don't <laughs> you don't like the champion one, you get the blue ones. You want to just do rank now. Um, and I believe if you've been champion at any point, you get all the wheels too. You'll get the champion wheels. I think it's if you reach that rank at any point. It's the same as the um, as the grand champ. So basically, it's going to be starting. I believe early April. They said. So probably the very beginning. I'm sure they'll put a new crate out with it, a new map, and a, just a new, fresh new update. Hopefully, fix up the game a little bit and some. I don't know. I've noticed some bad errors and stuff in it that they could really fix. Um, but on to the season four ranks, which I am very, very excited for. So they've kind of actually took it back to season one. That's why I told you guys to remember it. Remember how I said there was bronze, silver, gold, platinum. Well, there's bronze, silver, gold, platinum anymore, but there's more. And it used to go bronze one, bronze two, bronze three, and for that, for all the ranks. And then once you got to gold three, you had to like be in the top 100 to be platinum. <coughs> so it was, it was a big grind. I remember trying to get from gold three to platinum. Never was able to do it. I got close, though. But back then, um, the MMR-wise, I believe gold, I was like... 1100 in gold three so they probably spread these ranks out if i were to take a guess bronze and silver are going to be bronze is definitely going to be around prospect the lower prospect then silver one will probably be around prospect elite and then and silver two might be around prospect elite as well and silver three is when you get to like you'll probably get to challenger one and then challenger two and three will be like the, the golds and then Challenger Challenger Elite to like Shooting Star. I believe that's the yeah, Shooting Star will probably be the Platinums. And then the new rank that they're adding is Diamond. Well also Platinum is new as well. Uh, my bad. Platinum is just kinda like the blue stars now, but uh, Platinum uh, not Plat. Uh, Diamond will probably be Diamond One will probably be around like currently I'd say like all star and diamond two will probably be around shooting star and then I think diamond three will probably be champion and then champion one two and three which have the same symbols as champion super champ and grand champ but they just decided to make it one two and three um, champion one will probably be um, around super champ and I'm thinking the super champ symbol will be probably grand champ level and then grand champ will be this champion three will be pretty high and then there is Grand Champ, which has this really cool looking sy symbol. It's pretty different. But I believe that is going to be another, you know, you reach it to the top 100, you get Grand Champ. So that's that's how that's going to be, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but I'm curious, like, the end of when Season 3 began, I grinded the shit out of the game and got myself into the top 100 so I wonder if I if I do that again for this season would I get Grand Champ instantly for grinding into the top 100 I'm not too sure but this is all questions that will be answered when the season comes out I am very excited for it I'm very excited to see what else they release for it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one